Hello and welcome to Nigel's Workbench. On the workbench today we have a Pi Storm 32 light for the A1200. Put this on before people complain. Um, so I picked this up from uh, Vetro Ready yesterday and this is what's in the kit, the Pi Storm itself. It's a little 3D printed part that goes over to stop the 1200 keyboard shorting out the uh, pins. It's three screws and three plastic headers and a very tiny um, heat sink. Now the heat sink goes on the Pi Storm and it goes on the processor which is that one so I'm going to do that first oh, I'll figure out how to get the plastic back in off oh here we go nearly had it then right there we go so that goes on top there Like that. There's a little bit that comes off. I can just get it. There we go. That's just a little heat sink on there. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to put it together because it's it's not that obvious. You you may you could get it wrong if you weren't really concentrating on things. So it doesn't go like that, it goes from the bottom, goes that way, see that, goes in that way like, like that. But now we put these three little plastic spacers on, so, so I've got those two through there, got those two, two through there, the other one goes there. You know, carefully line up the screws through the spacers like so and holding it together near need to hang on. actually it might be an idea just to screw them in a little way to stop the screws from falling out when you lift it up that so now they won't fall out now this bit I need to push on here so that this goes together and makes a good contact push on here now the heat sink now has gone on the metal bit underneath there and now what I need to do is tighten these screws up there's some threaded inserts on the Ice storm board. Tighten each one up like so. So now you can see how the cutouts go. See this bit is the US, um, yeah, the USB port. That bit's for the camera. That bit's for the camera. This one's this one's the HDMI. That's the sound and I think that's camera, was that one camera? Not certain. And on the back we've got the SD card or micro SD card slot. Now in the 1200, if you imagine the 1200 um, this way up, if you took the keyboard off it would be in this way, hence this plastic 3D printed bit. So the keyboard rests on that, it won't short it out. Very simple idea and you know, works a treat really. So the next video will be installing it in into the 1200. Thank you for watching.